have a diehard coach with us here, Jeff mm. Judkins. That was another smooth transition we've had <laughs> yeah, on the show. I like that. The BYU women's basketball coach joining us. This is the first time you've been on set, coach. I know. It's This is it's, on television. This no. is nice. I didn't realize all this. I guess, you know, I'm – I'm just out of the loop, I guess, worrying about everything else. Do you have a move, a go-to movie to pump your team up? Uh, basketball, there's a couple. Hoosiers. Hoosiers is classic. Oh, you know, I think that's um, my favorite. I really like re- re- uh, Remember the Titans. I think it's a it's a great movie, and um, one of my favorite is Natural. Yes, you know? of um, So I mean, there's there's a lot of movies. Uh, I I'll be up front with you. I, I have had my team watch Hoosiers. Before, you know, a little bit, not the whole movie, but parts of it that I wanted them to realize that if you execute and do what you're supposed to, you can win. Who is your Jimmy Chitwood? Boy. On your team, who's Jimmy Chitwood? I would say right now um, it's Lexi Eaton. I think she has to come in and play well Coach, for us. Coach, I want to take the shot. Yeah. Did you say that in yeah, the huddle? Yeah, I think she would do that, yeah. I think her right now or um, Bailey. Morgan, those two would be the. I would say would say, Coach, let me take the shot. Awesome. Lexi's very confident. I mean, she's never had that problem in her life. I like the confidence, and you're going to Spain now, uh, and we just learned that you're going to face a men's basketball team in Spain. How did how did this come about? That's awesome. Well, yeah, we're kind of excited. We we're playing four games. One of the games we're playing a, a semi, I guess, club team that's supposed to be a pretty good team. Then we're playing their junior Olympic team two games, and then uh, they came to me and said, hey, you have a chance of, if you want, you can play a, a boys kind of semi-club team that's not the top, or you can play a team that you'll beat by 50. And I said, well, hey, I, I'm here to get my team better, so let's play a boys team. So really we're, cool. that's the last game we're going to play in Barcelona. That's who we're going to play. Nice. How did you pick Spain as the country for your once every four years international trip? Well, you know, I've been to France, and I've been to um, Italy, and I've been to Finland, and I've been to South America. Our first choice was to go probably to, to Brazil, but nice. with, with the World Cup and all the stuff, we didn't know exactly how that would work. And then uh, I ran into, at our coaches' meeting, I ran into the Portland men's coach, and we were talking about... Eric Revenant. Yeah, we were talking about tours and he said we just got back from Spain and we had a great time and so mm. um, we kind of looked at that I it, the men went to Greece and Brian Santiago's been there and he suggested that we do something different he didn't like that as well as they thought and so I th- we thought this was the, you know this was the best competition um, a great place for us to go I I think they're I think the men are looking at maybe going there kind of seeing what happens mm. with us so well, don't we're mess excited then yeah, we don't want to mess yeah, that don't up. Mess that's that. for sure. <laughs> How's your Spanish? Uh, not very good, but I know that Norma Collette can speak, and I'm going to be with her <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> you have a translator. Yeah. I got a translator. Norma Collette is going to be with me. <laughs> will, will you try and run with the Bulls or anything like that? You gonna you gonna go get crazy? Uh, you gonna get weird? I don't know if we're gonna get that crazy. Yeah, I, got lo- I got activities? a lot of responsibility. <laughs> I got I got 18 young ladies that I got to be in charge of, but we're gonna have a great time. We've kind of got it scoped out and we got our itinerary but we're, we're going to bounce around a little bit nice. coaching 18 young women with them in spain I, I believe it's 10 days right yes what do you want to accomplish in that 10-day period with your team what are the goals of this trip well one is to kind of see who, who who fits with our team basketball wise and what combinations are the best and hopefully give some players some confidence and let them have their opportunity to really shine the second part is to really you know, look at Spain and let, and let these young ladies realize the many blessings and how good we have it in the States and be able to see Spain and be able to see their culture and, and be able to do those things. And last but not least, and it's chemistry. You know, in women's sports, probably more than men, the, the chemistry is really important. Last year, that was one of the biggest things we had. You know, we had a great team, but those, those guys knew how to play together and they trusted each other. And I have, I have some new players that need to kind of get thrown in the fire, and they need to figure out what's going on. And so this is a great opportunity for that. Last year, just a tremendous season. You get to the Sweet 16. However, I don't know if anyone's told you this, but Jennifer Hampson won't be able to play this year on the basketball team. I know. Uh, what, what's that going to be like, Post the post-Hampson era? It's, uh, it's hard. I mean, she did so many things for us. 
and our team counted on some things from her. And we have a lot. Of, we have a different look this year. We're a little, we're a little more aggressive. We're pressing a little bit more. We're going to do more ball screens, try to get to the basket because we don't have that size defensively. We're going to switch more than what we've done. So it's kind of going to be a, a, a new thing. And I think this trip's going to help us with that. Yeah. BYU women's basketball head coach Jeff Judkins, NBA player, Boston Celtic, with us on set for the first time during the simulcast on BYU Sports Nation. Uh, coach, what does is, what is a trip to the Sweet 16 do for your program immediately? Did, did you notice any changes or any any benefits that, that happened from going to the Sweet 16 yeah, right away? Yeah, we've, we, we've been recruiting some people this summer that, to tell you the truth, would have been hard to get or at least get in t- to the door. And um, by us reaching the Sweet 16, they knew about us, they heard about us, their parents heard about us, and so it opened those doors. Um, Both of them are non-members, so they don't know a lot about BYU and about um, the campus and everything. But now, you know, the nice thing is is that a Big 12 school, like the Pac-12 school, can't say, well, hey, BYU never got, you know, they can't get there. Well, hey, we got there. So... They can't use that anymore. Um, like, say, Utah and recruiting or something? Yeah, like they yeah. go and say, hey, we're in a big conference and we're going to get to Sweet 16. Well, hey, let's face it. We would have had one more player. We could have beat UConn. If I had one more big, we had a chance of beating the team and we did the better than anybody else did the whole year against them. Yeah. So um, I think it helped our conference. I think it gave our conference a lot of respect, um, which which I think our conference deserves. Um, and then I think I think just think publicly. I mean, when I went out recruiting this year, just running into people, they saw our shirt BYU. Hey, you had a great season, and so you need to take advantage of that. You know, when those times come, you got to take advantage of it. You had a lead on UConn in the second half. I know. How many teams in America had a lead on UConn in the second half? Weren't you the only one? I one. Think, yeah. Uh, yeah. BYU. I know. You know, we went into halftime, and you know, what do you say? You played great what do you say to your team and, and you know I what I try to do is is not let him get all excited like just be happy that that's happened that let's we're not satisfied we're going through the smorgasbord one more time you know um but it was fun you know I think we really came together as a team and, the, and a lot of things that we believed in paid off and hopefully we can we can just grow from this and just just get better and better we've been talking a lot about BYU football fall camp how they have you know three plus weeks of uh, fall camp then prep for their first game and how at some point it's just enough you know they could play the game at some point mm-hmm. in the three weeks they don't we don't feel like they need the three weeks for your women's basketball team when do you know prior to the, se- the season that they are ready to play that first game how long does that take uh a lot of it depends on your you know how many veterans you have and and this and that um i would say right now with this team that i have now because I have so many coming back, and we're going to Spain. We've had 10 days to practice. Um, I'm going to be really, really careful not overdoing it early um, because of that. I don't want to burn them out too fast and and that. But usually you can kind of tell. I kind of knew last year our team was going to be special kind of a couple of weeks in practice and mm. thought, hey, we got a chance. And then we went through our ups and downs and then uh, to be able to come back like that. So I think a coach kind of has an idea, but – a lot of it's the bounce, you know, what injuries, you know. I mean, if I lose some key players last year, it would have really hurt. And I'm sure football is even worse. I mean, you don't know who's going to get hurt. I mean, there's key players for them that definitely cannot get hurt. Oh, but, yeah. But there's other people we don't know much about that, that they get hurt. That, I think that's the biggest issue in football is, is depth is, is, you know, and because so many people do get hurt. So I'm sure Bronco needs his time and – uh, a coach never feels he has enough time, but also you get tired of playing against each other. There gets a, a point in, in practice that you're ready to take on different challenges. How do you overcome that stuff to, to, to get them over the mental breakdown that sometimes they face when it's day after day after day of facing each other? Well, every coach does it differently, but for me what I do is I sometimes we'll come in and we just won't practice. We'll go do something fun as a team, you know? Like what? Bowling. Uh, go on a hike, go play volleyball in a park. Uh, Jennifer Hampson probably liked that one. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't too fun. <laughs> me! Yeah, it wasn't too fun with her on the other team. <laughs> but, you know, just kind of break it up a little bit, yeah. you know. Um, sometimes just come in and maybe watch a little film. Um, 
watch Hoosier, Hoosiers or yeah, watch yeah. something like that as a team. Um, so, I mean, every coach, you know, I heard Bronco does some things with his team, and I heard Dave Rolls does some things with his. So you kind of have to do that. A good coach sees that and, um, and really, you know, takes advantage of that. What does Dave Rose do with the men's basketball team? Fun I, I've heard he's taken them to movies. They've gone to movie. They go over to his house and and just kind of hang out and talk. And I've heard he's he's taken them on a hike or you know they've gone on a bike ride or you know there's a lot of things you can do. Yeah, practice you know. lip syncs, stuff like that. Yeah, Is yeah, that we, we, yeah, we've done a little bit of that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that Wait, stuff what? like that. <laughs> it's yeah. a part of BYU now, apparently. Yeah. Jeff yeah. Judkins, BYU women's basketball coach, with us on BYU Sports Nation. We're talking about the players and how to keep them mentally fresh. Like, is there a coach's burnout factor? Like, when you're on this Spain trip, or at some point, are you like, I just, you know, I just need to go for a walk? What, yeah. What's 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 your uh, way to avoid the burnout? Um, for me, it's it's to it's to have assistant coaches that are energetic, that work hard, that um, want to get better, and um, as a, as a unit that we're, we're together and that we, and, and we wanted, we want to get better than what, you know, than what we did last year. And I have a great coaching staff. Uh, they're young. Uh, we're all different in our own little way, but we're all the same. And so that helps, um, you know, and it's nice just to get away. Um, you know, I had an opportunity to, to go on some trips and be with my family and do that. This, this trip will be nice. It won't be as, as difficult as a road trip like going to the NCAA, you know, we don't have to win every game. This will be a, a really good opportunity. Do you have a Twitter account, Coach? I don't, but I'm going to get one. I keep hearing about it. Yeah. You know, I'm getting a lot of feedback from our recruits that I need to get one. So I think I'm going to – We will I'm, promulgate that <laughs> account for you. We will help. You will help me. Huh? We'll get you followers, man. Okay, let's do it. Let's Better do yet, it. why don't we launch your Twitter account from Spain? We take the show to Madrid. We do the show live from, from Spain. Can this, we come with this you? This sounds good to me. That would be really nice. I would love to have you guys come. It would be a lot of fun. <laughs> Since you uh, haven't been in studio on TV with us, do you mind signing our Rise Up flag? Sure, I'd be glad to do that. We haven't – that pause made me nervous for a second. We haven't uh, had anyone say no, so that would have been weird. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, <laughs> I, I don't feel my, comfortable. Talk to my agent. Uh, yeah, talk to my agent. You please. <laughs> we need to come up with a Twitter handle for Jeff Judkins. Yeah, we need to come up with something. Okay, you think of something? Because when I get back, or maybe I'm at there, mm. you can let me know what'll work out. We'll, th we'll think about this. You know, surprisingly, you know, as a coach, you have to change in time and a lot of recruits. How about of, at best shooter in Provo? That's too, long. Good. too long. Too long. <laughs> you guys it. think of it. You guys we'll think, think of it. it. We'll think Maybe of it. some Sport Nation fan will can think of a good one for you. That'd I be love great. it. Yeah. Tweet. Use the hashtag BYUSN. Tweet in your Jeff Judkins Twitter handle ideas. Yes. Let's do we it. We will come up with the best one, Coach, and we will deliver. <laughs> okay. uh, that would be awesome. That'd hey, enjoy, be great. enjoy Spain. Have a great time over there. Hey, Look forward to talking to you when you get back. I hey, appreciate it. Thank you.